Well, here we go. Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another psychic reading. Today we are reading for Beyonce. Um, okay, do I do a disclaimer? Mm, is there any point? Um, pff, every time I read for Beyonce there seems to be an issue um, because as always, Beyonce fans fail to see Beyonce as a human being and I'm gonna just put it out there like if you can't see her as a human being you are part of the problem um don't shoot the messenger if you're going to get upset because something is going to be said that maybe you don't appreciate it now is your opportunity to click off of this reading otherwise you will simply receive an eye roll emoji <laughs> in response because I ain't got time anyway <laughs> We got time. So, if you are open minded and you've come here to see what Spirit has to say about the current energy around Beyonce, stay with me, stick with me, let's get into it. If you enjoy this reading, please do hit a lovely thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you enjoy psychic and spiritual content and you'd like to be part of our lovely community because we would love to have you. And let's get into this energy now. Oh. One of the very first things that I see as I connect in with Beyonce's energy is I'm taken into like I can see Beyonce and all I can tell you is I'm getting a vision, right? So I'm I'm taken into like, this could be literal or metaphorical, I'm not too sure right now, but I'm being taken into like a cave, okay? It's, it's completely black and I'm being shown Beyonce with a hood on, just literally gazing into the distance. It's, it's almost as if she is being held captive, but equally like she's not in her own body, okay? Now, when I talk about this, I'm hearing that she in herself has been drugged. Um, there's, there's, an, there's an air of empathy, okay? I know that the energy from the public around Beyonce right now is very angry and very hostile, but coming through from spirit is actually an air of compassion and an air of empathy because equally, I do feel that she is a victim of this as well. I think I spoke about this in the last video I did for her when I said we, we're all shouting free Britney, which still free Britney, um, because she's also, I don't even know what's going on there, that's a whole other situation, but, well, it's probably the same situation, but um, she's equally in the same situation, okay? So hashtag free Beyonce still stands. The only thing here now with Beyonce that's different, I feel, to Britney is, Britney wasn't coerced into hurting other people, whereas Beyonce has been, and therefore she's now implicated in something as a result of that, okay? Now, I just wanna, if you've been with me for a while, you'll know that I get, I'm an energy reader, so it's energy first, and then we'll tap into the cards. So, I don't know why. I don't know why this is, guys, but I, from the minute I've been tapping into her, there's two things coming through from the spirit realm, right? One is I'm getting a lady in spirit who passed over and I'm not sure who she is. I can't place her. Um, but she, I can almost see her as an image. So I'm gonna describe her and maybe if any of you in the comments know who she is, please leave your guesses down below. I'm giving the initial M with her and I want to say her name is either Mel or, I don't want to say it's Meg, it's, it's, it's like Mel or Mal or it's an M-E-L or an M-A-L, it's her name, there's an M, she's giving me M as the initial but it's Mel, Mel, like I don't know. Okay, I do feel she's a woman of colour, however she's very, 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 very pale skinned. She is white passing. Um, and I don't know who she is, but her spirit is very here, okay? And I feel like when she was on Earth, because she was taken out, and I feel like she was taken out in the midst of all of this, somehow she's involved in this, she was taken out in a similar fashion to what's happening to Beyonce, okay? Her energy is very gentle, it's very soft, it's very... She's not saying anything, but I just know she's there. She's not saying anything, but I know her energy is there. The other person that I feel, which is so 
strange and I've never read for her and I've gone to read for her multiple times believe it or not but I've never actually got around to it and maybe this is why maybe it's because now's the time to do it is Naya Rivera Naya Rivera was that her name Rivera or Rivera forgive me Naya I just keep seeing her I keep seeing her on the boat and I see her running I now feel I don't know what happened with Naya's passing I really don't know too much about it except that her son was found in the boat I feel like she was running away she was running away from somebody this is gonna sound absolutely outrageous absolutely crazy but I have to give you what's coming through there is like um, body sharing going on here right and when I'm being shown Beyonce in this cave, in this dark cave, it's almost like a ritual is taking place, like a ritualistic experience is taking place. And I feel like she's jumping in and out of her body and that she's jumping, that other people, others, I feel like I've spoken about this and someone else is reading that. Spirits are jumping in and out of bodies. Like when we're talking about celebrities and people that are involved in this, like they're dealing with black magic. It's like, it's very dark. It's very dark and I'm like calling spirit, like come close to me because I don't want none of this. Ugh. Spirit, just come extra close. Um, now, I do shuffle the deck before I turn on the camera and speak to you. And the reason I do that is to try and get the energy into the cards before I pull the cards. The card that kept flipping over for Beyonce was King of Swords. So it may come out now, it may not, but it kept coming over, kept flipping over. And I can only assume that that is her husband. Now, when I link Beyonce to P. Diddy and I tap into the P. Diddy energy, P. Diddy, I do feel right now is, yes, he's very much, everything they're saying, yes, 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 should be in prison, should, all of this. But what I do feel is he's a scapegoat. He's not the ringleader of this. He's definitely a ringleader, but he's not the ringleader. There is someone some others above him <sighs> okay spirit is that everything energetically we want to get out right now oh okay there's a lot coming through energetically before we get into the cards um solange pay attention to solange's social medias and um any interviews that Solange may do over the next couple of months because I feel like she's going to talk and say things maybe without saying them. Um, the thing is what people don't understand is about this situation is it's so complex and it's so layered and incestuous in a way that I cannot explain to you. But what I can say is this, just because someone's in someone's life doesn't mean they're directly involved. I don't feel Solange is involved in this and I feel like that is maybe some of the reason why we saw that argument in the elevator, why we've seen hostility and distance between the two because it's something that I feel she didn't want to get involved in, okay? Um, I've talked about this before, how light work, there's, okay, I'm going to pull the cards in a minute, but I just feel like Spirit wants to clarify this so that people understand the complexities of this. Um, in the industry, just like in everyday life, you have light workers and you have people that are in the dark and then you have people that are just in the grey area just getting on with their lives, right? But in the industry, there are light workers and dark workers and they walk amongst each other. So when we're talking about people like Jaguar, right? I don't know, who else? And she's saying, I've been to do parties. Just because she's been to the party doesn't mean she was involved, okay? Sometimes spirit will place light workers in situations for them to be there to save other people, for them to be there so that they can speak out later on. These two existences coincide alongside each other. And you could be someone's sister, you could be someone's best friend, you could be someone's, I don't know, acquaintance, whatever and be connected to someone who, like, listen, if you're, if someone in your family or someone you work with does something bad, does that mean that you're a bad person? No, and it's exactly the same. And Spirit it just wants to lay down the complexities of that because not everyone is involved in this. 
not everybody is involved in this, okay? There are light workers in the industry. Now, given the situation that we're dealing with here, I thought there's only one tarot deck that we can be using, and that is the 90s tarot, okay? So let's get into it. Let's see what the cards say. Right. Spirit through the cards, please show me Beyonce's energy. Please show me what's going on right now. What do we need to know? I know a lot of you ask so many questions and um, I will try and get them up and answer as many of them as we can. Okay. Okay. Spirit, please show me Beyonce's energy. So much swords energy. So much swords energy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Beyonce. Show me Beyonce through the card spirit. So much swords energy. I told you. The king of swords. Now listen. I'm... I don't want to say, you know, tip, typical suits mean typical things, but swords really talk a lot about challenge, fighting, um, cutting, drama, um, toxicity a lot of the time. Yeah, okay. Okay, please show me Beyonce's energy through the cards. Interesting. Oh my goodness, I mean, all of this that I've got here says nothing else to me except that Beyonce sold her soul. And I know that's old news, but that's what this says to me. That's what this is screaming to me. Everything here, every single card is tied to something where it's like, okay, I'm gonna give you this, but you're gonna do this for me. And I'm gonna give you that, but you're gonna, you're gonna do this for me. And there's a consequence for everything. Beyonce, I feel, I know a lot of you are angry at her. I know a lot of you have your opinions about her, but actually I feel like Beyonce, when I tap into this energy and the energy that spirit is bringing through, there's a real sense of being groomed here. There's a real sense of victimization here. There's a real sense of actually being pimped, being blackmailed, being manipulated, being all of these things that I truly feel. And I'm not a Beyonce fan. Listen, let me give you a little background on Beyonce. I feel like I do this on every single video. When I was a kid, like when Beyonce was in Destiny Child, I was Beyonce's biggest fan. I'm telling you, I had a Beyonce's wall of fame in my room, okay? I had Beyonce's wall of fame. My whole, which is actually this room we're sitting in now, which is no longer my bedroom, um, but it was my bedroom. And the whole of the wall that I'm looking at was covered. I had a top ceiling to floor poster of Beyonce in my room. This was the first album. When Beyonce got with Jay-Z, I'm gonna be honest, I've said this many, many times, I don't hide this, this is my own opinion, I have never liked Jay-Z. Jay-Z's energy has always been dark to me, even since I was a child, okay? So, and I believe that children can see things, are more susceptible to energy. There is a reason for that. The same thing happened to me and Rihanna. I loved Rihanna, that first album, Rihanna's first album, I had that on repeat. When Rihanna got with Jay-Z, same thing happened. I just <laughs> cut ties because I just could not do it. And I do believe he's the king of swords on her life. I do believe he has manipulated her, used her. It's almost like, okay, and this came through before I turned on the camera. I feel like Beyonce has been used as, and I, I can't get the right word, it's like she's been used as a, um, as a bait, as clickbait, not clickbait, but like bait for other women, for other young girls in the industry, I feel like she's been used as bait, like, oh, don't you want to be like Beyonce? Don't you want to have a career like Beyonce? Look at Beyonce. Don't you want to be like her? Okay, so if you want to be like Beyonce, then you need to do this, 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 and this. And, you know, and that's why they've kept her on this. You know, I've said this before. Beyonce should not really still be making music. And at this time in her life, why is Beyonce doing adverts for Levi jeans and bringing out hair care lines? I'm side-eyeing this. 
I am side eyeing this because it's not because she's passionate about it. It's to keep her in the eye, it's to keep her in the public eye, it's to keep her in the loop so that she's on this pedal stool, which is why I do have such a problem with everyone that puts her on this pedal stool, because you're part of the problem. The more you put her on this pedal stool, the more girls want to be like her and the more this industry can keep existing and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sadistic, is that the right word? Satanic cycle. And the only way, and I feel like that's why this is happening to Beyonce, is because she's got to come off the pedal stool. Anyway, let's get into the cards. So, we have got <sighs> the Two of Wands reversed, tied with the Two of Swords. Okay. Two very opposing cards. Two of Wands, when it's upright, talks about long-term future, planning for the future, looking ahead. Two of Swords is completely opposite to that. This is the card of being blindfolded, not being able to see where you're going, complete lack of clarity, um, feeling like a victim, right? Everything's on hold for Beyonce. I don't know if this is public knowledge, because I'll be honest, <laughs> I haven't had time to really, you know, I've delved into a little bit of it, but I can't keep up with everything that's being released daily about this P. Diddy stuff and Beyonce. I feel like... Things are starting to be blocked, but equally, when I say things are starting to be blocked, I mean like bank accounts. I feel like the FBI are looking into the Knowles Carters. I feel like they are looking into their involvement because nowadays social media ha does have an impact. And I don't think the police or the governments let people know that, but they do. Once people start with their conspiracies and everything like that, it has an impact on investigations. Now, I do feel like um, bank accounts have been blocked. I do feel like there are travel limitations. I do feel like limitations are starting to be put on certain people so that they can be investigated. Because what I'm seeing is she can't make any plans. There's, there's limits being put on plans going forward. There's lack of clarity. Um, on how, 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 how she moves forward, there's, there's, I'm stuck, she's stuck, like, this is it, there's a, that, that's why I feel like I'm in the cave, like, I'm in the cave, I can't go out, I'm in the darkness, but equally, I do feel like she is literally in a cave, and I do feel like there is, it's like the cave is metaphorical, but it's also not, like, she is actually in a cave, like, I, I don't know, it's strange. But then equally, like I said, she is also a victim of what's happened. And sadly, you know, victims do go on to hurt other people. They can go on to be perpetrators. So sadly, there's that. Um, okay. We then have the Seven of Swords and Strength, okay? So Seven of Swords is a card of deceit, betrayal, trying to get away from something. Um, I'm gonna be very, very honest with you now. When I'm seeing drugs around Beyonce, a lot of you may be thinking that she's being drugged. And I do think that's part of it. I do think her husband may encourage her like, oh, you're, you know, you're getting down in it because I do feel like Beyonce does suffer with depression and there's definitely mental health issues there. Um, oh, you're getting down again, you're sad again. Take a pill, go and take take a tablet, you know, you need to do that. And I feel like he uses that as a way of keeping her, you know, sedated so he can do what he needs to do with her. But equally, I do feel like Beyonce does take drugs. And this is going to be so hard for some of you to hear. I need you to just take several seats for a minute. I need you to take a breath. Beyonce is not a perfect person. My problem is, is that this is how they've wanted to portray her to you. Oh, Beyonce is so private. Wow, there's nothing Beyonce can do wrong. Beyonce is a triple threat. She can just do everything. everything. She's so perfect. This is how they've tried to paint her. This is why the media is so powerful, because they can give you something enough times, and if you see it enough times, you will start to believe it. And I feel like that's what happened with Beyonce. You know, we was painted a picture of her so many times that it started to become a believable thing. Um, 
in order for her to get through the deceit, the betrayal, the lies she's had to tell, because she has had to tell lies, she's had to do things she doesn't want to do, she's had to go on to shoots she doesn't want to do, she's had to do work she doesn't want to do, she's had to... Do you know what? I feel women coming. I've said this before. I don't feel like Beyonce and Jay-Z actually live in the same home. But I feel like that there was a time when they was in a home and women would come in and she would have to turn a side eye to it. Right? I feel like other women entering her home, young women being allowed in her home and her just having to go along with it. And I feel like the only way she could do that was to be sedated. The only way to deal with that, that pain of her husband, just outright outrightly there's no like hiding this i feel like he was with other women in her face was for her to be on drugs it's like take a pill to numb the pain you know um while we're on this a lot of you want to know about the the mistress kathy white is it can we get a card on kathy white and whether beyonce had something to do with her passing Did Beyonce have something to do with Kathy White's passing? There we go. Here we go. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, that just made me feel very sick. Oh my. This is so complex. Like, okay, let's draw it back because there's just so much coming through here. Yes, it's going to be the energy that I feel around this. There's definitely a part she played in Kathy White's passing, okay? She definitely knows something about it. So it's Three of Swords is the heartbreak card, okay? This is the card of heartbreak. This is the card of a third party being involved in a relationship and you being devastated about it. This is a relationship breaking down because there is somebody else involved in it. That obviously would be Kathy White. The High Priestess is someone that is holding secrets. Now in this industry, Beyonce has been placed like a High priest Priestess, okay? She would be the one who would be at the head of the table when they're having dinner parties, the one that women would go to to worship. Like I said, she's been put on a pedal stool for for other women to be like, don't you want to be like Beyonce? Well, if you want to be like Beyonce, then you need to do this. You need to sleep with this person. You need to sign this contract. You need to do all of these things and you can be like Beyonce. It's like they use her as a, a figure. Like they hold her in place and they use her as a figure. And what Spirit is saying is because Beyonce is now getting older, in the next couple of years, we're going to see a replacement. That's the rituals that are now starting to happen. And that's interesting because we're now going back to this, what Spirit is saying, Beyonce is losing her place in the line of succession. Before Beyonce, there was someone else. I don't know who it was, but Spirit is saying there was someone else. Um, it then got passed over to Beyonce. Beyonce is now coming of age. Women, young girls aren't gonna to wanna to be like Beyonce much longer. Let's be honest. And it will become someone else, okay? So they've used her in order to attract other girls into, she's almost like, I just know there's a word for it that I don't know. She is like a pimp, but she's been used as like, in in the behind the scenes, she's used as like a, um, as like a model of, you know, to, to get people, to, to manipulate girls, to get them to want to be involved in this and all of that anyway. She's the high priestess. She knows stuff. She knows secrets. She's definitely hiding things, especially when it comes to Kathy White. And the way that that's come out, the, um, the Three of Swords connected to the high priestess, she knows something about her passing. Am I going to say she did it and she was first handedly involved? No. But what I will say is there may have been an order that she said, get rid of her. Okay, And the reason you might say, well, if Beyonce is you know, doing what they want her to do, how can she make orders? Because she is the one that brings the girls in. So she has a certain amount of power in this. Yes, 
they definitely, the men definitely run the, the show. This is so hard to explain, I feel like I'm not explaining it so well, but I'm just trying to explain it how it's coming through. The men run the show and they use Beyonce to get other girls to come in. And because they're using her, she's very important. They can't lose her because without her, it's going to be harder. Women don't really trust men a lot, you know, they more trust a woman. So it's easy for Beyonce to say, come on, come join, come and join, you know, it's, you're safe. Sorry if anything looks different, my uh, battery died there. But um, next, in relation to this Kathy White, the infidelities in her marriage, is we have the King of Cups and the King of Swords. Now, I've already told you, the King of Swords kept flipping over before I turned on the camera. The King of Swords is definitely Jay-Z's energy, right? Swords, when we're talking about someone who you're in a relationship with, is someone who you are very protective against, but who also you can have a lot of challenges with, who you feel like you're fighting an uphill battle, who is very um, defensive, maybe quite closed off, very um, clear on his mission and clear on his purpose. And when, when I connect in with Jay-Z and Beyonce, it does feel very business-minded, it does feel very business-orientated. Um, and it feels like, like I said, like she was hand-picked for the specific reason to work for him, right? I don't feel any love in their marriage. Every time I've ever read for them, I've never felt love in their marriage. I really, really don't, not on his behalf anyway. However, one thing I don't think I've ever picked up on before is another male energy around Beyonce. There was a man and I don't feel like he's in the loop anymore. And I'm going to be honest, and it's pretty wild, but I feel like this might have been Kanye West. When I read for Kanye West, or was it Beyonce, one of them, I picked up on how much they actually really liked each other and how much they really got along. And there was a lot of love between those two people, right? And what I actually feel is that I feel, and I'm being shown the Taylor Swift thing because that's something that again has resurfaced. How people are saying that Kanye West was actually trying to ta save Taylor Swift. I'm gonna actually flip reverse that. I think Beyonce, I think um, Kanye West was actually trying to save Beyonce in that moment. Spirit made me feel that Kanye West was very protective over Beyonce because I feel like there were many times where Beyonce was in a situation where she was silenced and still is. I feel like Beyonce can be in a room where there's lots of young women and she's not allowed to say anything. Or she'll be in a room and Jay-Z just dismisses her, ignores her, talks down to her, is very, very cold to her. I want to go back to that award ceremony. I can't remember which one it was, but he literally was, he didn't even try and hide how cold he was to her. So. When I also see Tupac as well, and I'm linking that to modern day, I get Kanye West. So I don't think it was a romantic love, but definitely a love nonetheless. Now, was the baby Kathy White's? Let's see. Was Blue, is Blue Ivy Kathy White's child? Card. It's the baby Kathy White, was Blue Ivy Kathy White's Queen of Pentacles. One more. It's Blue Ivy Kathy White's child son, because I do feel there is a son that's one saying that. Okay. Um, no. Okay, interesting. Kathy White is coming up here as Queen of Pentacles, okay? Um, Kathy White does, did have a child, and I don't know if this is known. I don't know anything about Kathy White, but I feel like it was a boy. It wasn't a girl. 
It wasn't Blue Ivy. Um, however, we'll get to that in a minute. But this boy has been hidden. Um, she... Uh, It's Jay-Z's child. Blue Ivy's not her child. But this boy that Kathy White had, she had a son. He is Jay-Z's child. Jay-Z has illegitimate to Ill blah, 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 I can't speak. Illegitimate children. Blue Ivy was a surrogacy pregnancy. Okay. Um, reason being is when we're talking about Blue Ivy, Seven of Pentacles has come up, which means she was paid for. Okay, so I feel like there was money given for Blue Ivy. Um, and it happened, I don't, I feel like this boy is the same age as Blue Ivy actually because I feel like it happened around the same time. And I feel like she found out, he, she found out Kathy White was pregnant. She wanted her own baby as, at the same time. It was paid for, it was just paid for, like just get rid of the problem. He was paid for to get rid of. She was paid for to be able to have blue ivy, and that was that. Kathy White, when we're talking about Kathy White's passing, sorry, there's a lot here. This is going to be a long reading. Um, I'm just thinking, I'm just. Spirit is saying that Kathy White's. Um, passing won't be reopened. There will be no uh, further looking into it. Now, I do just wanna, while we're on the topic of Blue Ivy, because what I find very strange is for a family that are apparently so private, that you would have your child everywhere. She's everywhere, she's been everywhere, which suggests to me, like I just said, you know when I said that they're gonna replace Beyonce? Who do we think is going to replace Beyonce? Who do we think is being trained and groomed to replace Beyonce? Ten of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Six of Swords is about someone leaving. It's about someone leaving, moving away, going away, leaving, okay? Um, so when we're talking about the industry, that to me would signify that's Beyonce leaving the industry, making room now for the next person to come up. Ten of Cups is that fulfillment. You've fulfilled your role, you've fulfilled your time, you've done your part, it's now time for someone else to come up. For me, that is about Beyonce moving on and I do feel that the person that's gonna come in and replace her is Blue Ivy. So don't be surprised, I'm giving, I'm being given five, the number five with this and I feel like it's five years. Do not be surprised if in the next five years that would make Blue Ivy how old? I'm gonna say 16, 17, if we start to see Blue Ivy releasing music. And so the cycle continues, okay. Um, okay. Next we have the Eight of Swords and the Three of Wands. Um, Eight of Swords is very similar to the Two of Swords. It's about being victimized, being tied into a situation, feeling like there's no way out, feeling like there's no escape. Um, you're, it's, these are two cards that are very much about the mind, how your mind's been taken over. You're now in a in a different state. You can't think clearly, right? Okay, and I feel that that's very much the case with Beyonce. I feel like this has been going on for so long that she can no longer think in a state of um, clarity. It's all very much of, you know, what does Jay-Z want me to do? What does the industry want me to do? And I have to be very clear with this again. Even above Jay-Z, I'm going to say that there's a group of people who are faceless, nameless, um, who who hide in the shadows, who we don't know, and who, to be honest, I don't think we will know, um, because I'm, I'm hearing it be said, we don't know them and we won't know them, 
um, you might see their name in the records, um, like the, the court documents, but because we don't know them, you're just going to brush past it. Okay, right, forgive me. My camera is all out of sorts. Anyway, so we have got the Eight of Swords and the Three of Wands. Okay, now the Eight of Swords is all about the mind. And again, it's very similar to that Two of Swords energy, that victimization mentality. Beyonce is now, she's been in this for so long that I feel like her mind state is in, a, is in a different place. Like I say, even when I tap into her, it's almost like she's out of body. She's not there. Like, the Beyonce that we saw 20 years ago is no more. It's almost been like she's been groomed and conditioned and she is just in another place mentally like mentally she's not here she's not here it's like britney it's very similar except the difference between britney and beyonce is beyonce's handlers handle it well they put her in the public and make her look like she's there and everything's fine and they know when to put her in the public and they know when to do that and they know when to ease off the the, the drugs and all of that stuff and you know control her in that way they they know when to do it like it's all orchestrated very well three of three of wands is about self expression um so again that's how she's showing up to the world and again it's just this absence like all i feel is like and all i feel and all i can say is like beyonce is gone like she's not there She's not in the body. She's not in the mind. I just feel numb. I feel zoned out. I feel not here. I feel somewhere else. I just feel somewhere else completely. Now, the final cards that I have in connection with Beyonce are the eight, uh, eight, sorry. <laughs> Why did I say eight? Are the three of pentacles and the six of cups. Now, as a concluding energy for Beyonce I feel as I tap into the energy of these cards that you know this is something that has been going on long before Beyonce and sadly is something that will go on long after her what is happening and spirit want you to be very aware of this it looks like Finally, they're going to shut everyone down and, you know, they're going to catch the bad guys. No. 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 This is all just... It's all just like a cover-up. It's all just like, let us look like we're doing something. And when I said P. Diddy is the scapegoat, I'm not saying he's innocent because he is far from it, but my goodness, there's so many other people involved in this. Three of Pentacles is a collaborative effort when it comes to making money and that's what this is all about money power sex greed power three of pentacles is about a team celebratory effort p diddy and this is not to make him feel sorry for him or anything like that but he has absolutely been thrown under the bus by people he would have considered allies, by people he would have considered friends, by people he would have considered people he could trust. He has been thrown under the bus to save himself. And there are many people that this has happened to. Uh, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, all people who are completely guilty of what has been said to them, but are not in it alone. Every now and then, they will throw someone under the bus to be like, oh, okay, just to keep the public quiet and be like, oh, okay, everybody, hush down now, look, we've put them in prison now, look, dealt with, let's keep it quiet now and let's just keep it moving. And that's what will happen. That's what will happen. Um, this is not just, this is bigger than celebrity. This is something that is happening all over the world. Women are being trafficked, children are being trafficked, people are being trafficked. Like, this is a big, massive problem. And... Sadly, we cannot think that the governments, the courts, the systems actually care enough to look it all down. This is so much bigger than P. Diddy, Beyonce and Jay-Z. And Six of Cups 
is about giving and receiving. It's about the past. It's about looking at your past with fondness. This has been going on for years and years and years. Spirits bringing Ju Judy Garland. Jaguar Wright has spoken about Judy Garland. This has been going on since that era, since the golden era of Hollywood, since before then. Like, this has been going on for a long, 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 long time. And when people start to realise the scale of it, you know, it's scary. Last cards I'm going to pull, um, before I just check and make sure I've answered all of your questions, <laughs> is... You know, will Beyonce be held accountable for what's happened in terms of the law? So is Beyonce going to go to prison? Is she going to have to go to court? I am hearing a no, Knight of Swords. Which means there's someone there that's protecting her. Because like I said, Beyonce is very protected. She's very guarded. King of Swords, even though there's no love coming through when we talk about her marriage, she is protected. And the reason she is protected is because she's a valuable asset to this ring of people. She brings in the girls. She brings in the girls that want to be like her. So she's protected. She's protected. Knight of Swords, no. She camera is being so wild, so you're just going to have to forgive me if anything looks different. But we are going to wrap this up now. Knight of Swords, Beyonce is very protected. Like... She's very protected by those involved in this situation because she's a valuable asset to the situation. Um, and there is another man who's going to go down in this with PDD. It's not Jay-Z. There is another man, a younger man. Um, it could be Usher. It could be Usher. It's a musician. It's someone involved, you know, someone that we know um, who is going to go down as a scapegoat for Jay-Z and Beyonce. Um, so there's going to be no repercussions, sadly, for the Carters because um, they hold too much power. And like I said, this isn't really about justice. This is about making it look like there's justice, which is the sad world that we live in. There are so many people and so many theories and strings and stuff attached to this. Like I could probably sit and talk about this for hours and talk about the energy and dive into the energy. Like there's so many layers here, so many names popping up. Usher, Rihanna, you know, it's, it's like, where do we draw the line? Like I said, just because people are connected doesn't mean they are perpetrators, right? Um, so let me know who you want me to read for next. We're going to keep diving into this energy, um, this energy specifically, um, to see what's going on with them. I would like to read for JLo. I would like to read for Rihanna. I would also like to read for Cassie to see where she is now with everything, how she's feeling. Um, so many people, so many people, Usher, Chris Bratt, like, like, where do we draw the line? Um, so yeah, let me know who you'd like to see me read for next. I will go with, leave who you'd like to see me read for next and the one with the most thumbs up, I'll probably go for. So do that. Um, I do have private readings available if you would like a reading with me. I think they are sold out at the moment but I am constantly releasing them um, as soon as I have availability so I'll leave that link in the description below. If you'd like to follow me outside of this channel you can find me on Instagram at I am Kirsty Lewis. Let me know how you found the reading. Please do hit a lovely thumbs up if you did enjoy it. That's a weird word to say when we're talking about this situation. Um, please do subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, look after yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. And I will see you soon for another video, please. Bye.